Today, I just want to give you guys a bit of an update about these, the Beta FPV TX modules for Express LRS. If you watch the channel regularly, you'd have seen I did a review of this one, the 500 milliwatt model, and I'm in the process of finishing my review on the new 1 watt model with the TX backpack functionality, and that should go live this week. The common thing between these two modules is that they both have the OLED screen and five-way button and to use that they had to have a customized version of the Express LRS firmware from Beta FPV. This customized fork of Express LRS added the five-way button functionality and allowed you to control the module via the OLED screen. Whilst these modules were supported in the official master branch of Express LRS, you did lose the ability to control the menus if you installed that as well as control the LED. However, this week, Express LRS have just pushed out version 2.1, which now adds full support for both of these modules, but also support for changing the menus via the five-way button, and you no longer have to run that customized version of Express LRS firmware from Beta FPV. If you have these modules, I would strongly advise switching over to the master official Express LRS branch now because whilst you can continue to use it you're going to be far better using the official firmware because that way you know you're getting additional bug fixes and updates as well. What I'm going to do in a moment is just jump over to the overhead and just show you the difference between the layouts on these modules when you are using the new firmware compared to the beta FPV because there are some differences and I do also want to add that it does appear that with the official release you no longer have the option to control the LED on the back so if that is important to you you're going to need to stay with that beta FPV fork for the moment at least until all of that additional functionality is added. Anyway, let's hop over to the overhead and let's just take a look at what the differences are when you now flash between the official version and the customized beta FPV version. Okay, so to power both modules up, first of all, I'm going to do that via USB on both and I'll walk you through the differences. First thing you'll notice is that there is a logo difference on these. So the one on the left is running the customized beta FPV fork and the one on the right, the black one, is now running the new version 2.1 official build for these modules. Once they've booted, you will notice that the beta FPV just stays on that ELRS 2.4G screen, whereas the official build jumps over to the information display showing us the firmware version, the packet rate, the power output, and the telemetry option as well. To enter the menu on both of these, it's basically the same. You press and hold, and you will then see that things do look a little bit different. Whereas the original beta FPV firmware showed this menu that had everything in one long row, so you could simply scroll up and down. The official Express LRS build has little icons for each option, and you can scroll through them one at a time. So we've obviously got the option for the packet rate, the TX power, the telemetry ratio, the bind mode, as well as the Wi-Fi firmware update option. It is worth noting, as I mentioned earlier, that the official build does not have an option for controlling the LED, whereas this one does, and it does have that option for changing it as currently on auto in this firmware, whereas you're not going to be able to do that on the official Express LRS builds. To change the settings, you would simply press and hold. So for instance, on the new Express LRS build, you simply select to go into the right, and then you can simply select by going up and down, pressing the button to select it. Again, go down to TX Power, enter the menu, and you can scroll through the power outputs depending on what setting you want. Set the telemetry ratio. Nice and easy. Bind mode and firmware update. Whereas on the Express RS B2FPV version, it's just all in one screen. Um, as for my personal preference, to be honest, it doesn't really make a difference for me. I would simply recommend everyone upgrades to this master release because this is now version 2.1 and it is fully supported moving forward. You've got not only official support for these modules, but official support for this display setup as well. Um, I've got used to the way the beta FPV one works, but it's no real different on this one here as well. There's no real change at all. It's really just a choice difference on how the Express LRS team have decided to implement it. And I believe they've based that on the Axis module 
um, menus, whereas beta FPV did it slightly differently. But other than that, it is pretty much the same. Okay, so that is it from me on this one. I would recommend if you've got the module, go out there, get the firmware updated, get it on that official 2.1 build. That way, you know you're going to have no issues. 2.1 doesn't have any of the quirks, like when you press the button, it kills the RF. It works exactly as you would expect. If you found this video interesting, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. If you're interested in these modules, they are available from Beta FPV directly. Um, if you want to support me further, there are links to buy me a coffee as well as Patreon in the description. It is only by you guys supporting me through Patreon am I able to keep making videos like this. There is going to be a full review on this one watt module coming. It's over half an hour long, having just finished the edit on it. It's ridiculous. It's too long, but it is what it is. But we do a huge amount of dive in on this one. We take the module apart. We dive in. We even test the SWR on the antennas they supply as well. So that gives you an idea. Overall, I have to say, if you're looking for a one watt module, that is actually really worth a look. I have zero issues with it at all, but do check out the review of that when it lands. Anyway, that's it for me. Stay safe. I will speak to you guys again soon.